This is the first video in a series for Android development. I'm going to be using the Windows 7 platform to actually be developing the Android applications from. And so I have to turn this operating system into something that can actually develop Android applications. And I'm going to need to install a couple things in order for it to work. Most notably the Java development kit. We're going to also need to install the Eclipse IDE which is the preferred IDE for setting up Android applications and then the Android development kit itself. And so we're going to go through the first video is going to kind of focus in on setting up the Java JDK. The second video is going to be on the Eclipse and then the third video is going to be on the setting up the Android development kit itself. And so we're going to start from a basic installation of Windows 7. This is a 32-bit operating system that I've currently got installed and I'm going to go ahead and get going by clicking on Internet Explorer I'm going to go through the downloads themselves so you can fully set up this if you're following along from home or from school or whatever you're using and get going there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go to google.com, go to Google and uh, look for the Java JDK. And when I find it, you can see here it's already pulling up a, some results. The first one here, this Java SE downloads is the one that I want to focus in on. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this link. This is from oracle.com. And we're going to go ahead and look for this particular download. If you look here to the left, the one that we want to focus in on is the Java Development Kit, just the Java Development Kit by itself. And there are a couple of different ways of developing Java if you really want to. Some of the people use NetBeans and so forth and Java EE. However, we want to focus on this one just because we're going to be using Eclipse instead as our IDE. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'm going to need to agree to the license agreement here to, to download and it says right here accept license agreement so I'll go ahead and click on this one here and then I need to choose the platform that I want to work with and I'm going to work with the Windows x86 this is the 32-bit platform so I'm going to go ahead and use that if you are using 64-bit platform then you want the x86 or x64 but I'm going to go ahead and download the x86 platform it's going to take about 10 minutes or so to download so I'm just going to go ahead and hit save and I'm going to choose to save it here on my desktop I'll go ahead and hit save and it will go through here download 84 a little over 84 megabytes here to download what I'm going to do now is just kind of close some of these windows so that we can get going here and actually see the downloaded file here itself and so we'll just go ahead and double click the download here and run the application we're going to go ahead and hit yes here and we're going to go through this wizard and just kind of hit next to install here uh, the JDK. We're going to go ahead and next again. And it's going to install the JDK right now. It's going to ask me now to install the Java runtime environment so that I can actually run Java applications well on this computer. I'm going to go ahead here and hit next. And it will take about a minute for this part to run through as well. Now if you notice here it actually we've actually installed the uh, Java development kit successfully. We still have a continue button and that's because it comes with now the JavaFX software development kit and so this is now bundled with your JDK and so we're just going to go ahead and go through in here and hit next next and it will take a moment to install this one as well so after it installs successfully we're almost done we're going to go ahead and hit close on that the internet is going to pop up here in just a second in the browser and it's going to basically ask us or give us the option to register the software if we wanted to in this particular video I'm not going to do the registration however if you want to register your software you can definitely do that so I'm just going to go ahead and hit close on that and so we're almost done the last thing we got to do is we're going to register within the Windows environmental variables the path to our Java JDK so I'm going to go to start I'm going to click on computer go to my C drive go to the program files find the Java folder and there's the Java development kit folder so I'm going to go ahead and click inside of that and you can see this is the location here this bin folder for binary files basically this is where all my applications are going to be this is the location that I want to put in my environmental variable so what I'll do is just click up here on the top and it gives me the full file path to this location what I'm going to need to do is copy that so I'm just going to right click on it and copy it I'm going to go ahead and close that out now I'm going to go to start this time I'm going to right click on computer and go to properties and we're going to click on this advanced system settings and you can see here there's a button for environmental variables for environment variables we'll go ahead and click on that I want to look for the path variable so there it is path and I'm going to go ahead and hit edit and at the very end of this I'm going to go ahead and click and just move your arrow to the right all the way to the right so that you're at the very end of this 
I'm going to go ahead and type in a semicolon and then I'm going to go ahead and paste it in there. I'm just going to go to the control and V as in Victor paste and that basically paste that in there for me if I do that key combination and I've added that to the environment variable for the path variable. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and we'll hit OK again and OK and close this out. So this concludes the first video on setting up the Java development kit for Android development.